What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of What Are They Cooking? The series where we investigate the badass ideas that you, the audience, have to showcase for us. As always, if you have a replay you'd like to see featured on one of these, uh, just go to the Discord in the description, post it in the Edison format, replays channel. Now, starting off, we have... Um, <laughs> this is funny, because it's a match between some guy and, I think, Keegan on his alt. But some guy here, uh, D's bollets, whatever their name is, um, they're playing a deck that really just looks like some whack shit that Keegan would play, actually. It's just, like, got a bunch of, like, goat format, <laughs> really slow, normal summon guys in it, you know? Like, I don't know, Keegan loves DD Warrior Lady and Injection Fairy Lily and stuff. Um, definitely see uh, a lot of... Oh, we're getting dust shooted. We're getting dust shooted indeed. I don't know, I just, like, notice that Keegan plays a lot of these weird decks that look like they were building goat format. Um, we're gonna play into the Torrential and get owned by the Torrential. That's kind of rough, but it looks like Keegan himself, who I assume actually is Keegan, according to this guy anyway, is playing Geminis, but he has no monsters. He's <laughs> nine cards in, no monsters. I mean, that is kind of a, a thing that can happen. That deck is pretty low monster count. This is why, yeah, we, we get our Oppression Dust Tornadoed, unfortunate, Unfortunate, so he's going to send two for Raptinus, but on the other hand, he still just needs to find something. He finds Granwall. Okay, that's a monster. We go for Exiled Force. Exiled Force gets solemned, though. All right. So now we're going for Blazewing. This could get pretty nuts. Uh, Oppression, though, going to be used on the Blazewing effect, so it is now a lot less nuts because Keegan is unable to Wombo off with his Geminis. We're going to summon one of the Fairy Lilies, hit over the Raptinus, and set a compulsory and then that's just going to be it for game number one well it worked out there for us i don't what did you say this deck was called this deck is called like dd control i'm pretty sure it plays like assailant and warrior lady and dd warrior just plays like all of them all right exob's a really good answer to turn one giga plant um keegan drew both ultimate offerings. Gonna flip one of them. That one gets dust tornadoed. Flip the other one. That one's going to go off just fine. This is gonna hit into a deep prison though, which is pretty solid at dealing with the De Gemini soldier. We're gonna summon up the Sangan attack. We have another dust, so we could potentially get rid of something. We're gonna end phase dust the future fusion. Now we summon Grand Mole and we get torrential. Okay. Sangan gets us something. A DD warrior lady. Alright, another DD monster. Oh my god, Iron Wall would go so hard. Oh my god, Iron Wall would go so hard. Um, so, he does the thing where he pays 500 twice to avoid Bottomless, which is cool. We can pulse, we go for Rat hit in set. Man, think about how much Iron Wall turns off. It turns off, like, do we play all 12? I don't know if we play all 12. I think we definitely play 3 Warrior Lady, and maybe also 3 Warrior. We try to hit in, Keegan has a Gemini Spark. We're gonna go ahead and set everything... All right, we got the Iron Wall being activated. Summon the Kaiku, the Warrior Lady, and the Assailant. Yeah, none of them do anything. This is kind of what I was referencing earlier. The Iron Wall is uh, the Iron Wall is putting in some work here. Okay, what can we do? Call the Haunted for Giga Plant 2. That's not good. That is not good for us. And Supervise, and we just concede because, like, we've got two DD monsters in our hand under Iron Wall. It's not good. Not good indeed. Uh, we're going to go set a bunch. All right. That's going to eat a Torrential. Sangan gets us an Injection Fairy Lily. I mean, the rat box thing's kind of cool. You can get DD Warrior, or you can get Injection Fairy Lily, and you can also get Grand Mole, presumably. So that's that's cool. That's neat. Upstart Goblin, we got Breaker. Breaker going to take out D-Prison. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. All right, we're going to attack with Fairy Lily, though. That's big damage. Big damage indeed. We draw into a Sangan... And we're just going to admit defeat there. Dang. Well, that was... That was DD Control. <laughs> what a weird deck. Next up, we got another one of these wonky Dark Creator decks that we love to feature on here. Uh, so far looking pretty similar to mine, but now we see the spice, or at least part of it, which is that this is Doom Shaman Dark Creator, but with Neo Spatians. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see how this works out. Let's see how this works out. This could be really bad, except the opponent... Just, like, added Bora. So they could have gone Gale and made Dark End. Or, like, Gale, bounce the thing, and then special it again, main two, make Stardust set everything. 
But now they're going to have to judgment our storm is the thing. So that's pretty bad for them. But now we can drop Sork and get rid of the Bora. Summon Sinister Sprocket. Make Black Rose Dragon. Drop Dark Creator. No, wait, wait, wait. We don't have enough darks. We have three. Dang. If only we had Dad. Um, let's see. We don't have Doom Shaman out there either, but we're about to. We are indeed about to. And next turn, we could go off with that Silent Doom and with the Dark Creator potentially. But the opponent is uh, sitting on a Royal Oppression here. Wait, wait, what? what? Why didn't we go for anything there? I feel like we should have done okay now we're gonna bounce but we go main two and we get oppression all right so now we got to deal with this oppression basically we go bounce with the grand mole they attack we can drop tragodia that's decent we can steal their guy icarus gonna be chained they're gonna pop their own thing we activate silent doom they're just gonna let that go um yeah they're scooping because even if they pay eight, we just summon Granville when we win. All right, that makes sense. Uh, that was just a best of one, apparently. Whatever. It was kind of neat, but we've seen this sort of thing before. Um, it's got to be bricky as hell trying to play the Doom Shaman thing with the Neo Spatian pack. I just don't see how you could play these two things together. But they found a way. They found a way, and uh, they did technically beat. They took a game off Black Wings. The Black Wing player had a whirlwind too. That's crazy. That is crazy. All right next ma <laughs> we got shield and sword rocks fellas this is what we're this is the technology that we're working with i i'm as clueless as you as to what exactly is going on here the opponent is playing overdrive psychics which is pretty cool they're gonna make brio all right and then they're going to use the power will to bring back a mind master and we're gonna go ahead attack directly with both of these guys and then i think main two they use the mind master to get crebons and just make stardust set a, another back row now we have a lot of cards we can do things what do we do brain control the stardust all right special gigantes that eats up the bottomless now we summon out guardian mirror force not going to be used and we don't have lethal either so we're kind of just set passing but that does not that does not deal with the problem they're not going to attack though they fear dimensional prison which they really probably should is that wait wait whoa 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 i didn't even realize we're playing mega rock dragon what is going on there the opponent is playing psychic trigger which is pretty based gonna draw two here they're gonna hit into our hamster hamster gets raiko now we can go just mill special out gaia plate attack into the stardust and that is just gonna be game okay that's neat that's neat i don't know what shield and sword was for though we never oh i see i found i've i found the spice we're playing lost guardian so for every banished rock this thing gains 700 defense <laughs> so we can use oh that's such a silly thing to do oh my god how are we gonna get there though i think we're just dead right now where it's actually just game over so i guess maybe not maybe we'll get to see it game three hopefully possibly i guess the plan is you fill your graveyard with with stuff for mega rock dragon and then and then you banish a bunch and then, we're playing mind golem bro <laughs> we're playing mind golem so you fill your fill your grave with a bunch of rocks and then they like and then you banish them all for all your banished dudes. And then you just summon a really big lost Gardna. And then you shield and sword it to make it have attack points instead of... That's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. All right. Opponent kind of going off for the same Brio plus um, Overdrive field here. We're going to resolve the Mind Golem, which is just inflicts 500. I don't know. It's not very not very great we go for the heavy storm they chain psychic trigger all right they do take some damage though we're gonna activate shield and sword now all right so the shield and sword has been activated we summon gigantes we summon uh rock spirit so we can just hit over both their guys i guess that's something and then if these die we can actually get to our big dude but i'm going to use psychokinesis to take out the set monster and then they're just going to pass what, what how much life are they on that damn meter broke can we not kill here? I don't think we can. I do not... I do not, in fact, believe that we can. Why are we hitting in like this? When they can just out... But, okay, I guess the plan is they get to Grave, so now we can summon this. 
Oh, come on, man. You gotta go for it. You gotta summon that Lost Gardener, man. All right, maybe we just, like, set the Lost Gardener. No, but then that would make your, your Gaia plate really low. How big is this thing? We got four Banished Rocks, three Banished Rocks, so it's 21 defense. No, he's just gonna hit over it. What a jerk. Who does that? Okay, okay, we have to have... There's gotta be a way. No, we can build one of our other Lost Gardeners, too. Okay, we can go charge... Oh, we milled one of our Mega Rocks. We're milling all our Win Cons here. And are we going to mill again? No, we're just going to make them discard, which definitely seems like the better play. They summoned DD Crow. Get their extra normal summon. Okay. We could have just Typh... Can't we just Typhoon the Brain Research Lab? No, wait. Does it not get counters for extra normal? I don't think it does. I do not, in fact, believe that that is what it does. God, their life point meter is weird. What is, what is even happening? Okay, they're going to make Life Trancer. They're going to gain 12, and then... Oh, we activate shield and sword. Okay. That didn't accomplish much. We should have done it after Mega Rock so we could switch its identical attack and defense. But we're going to see Mega Rock get dropped. It's 4,200 attack points, and it's going to attack over the life transfer for an amount that is presumably game. But I don't know because I don't remember how many friggin' life... Th oh, stupid meter, man. I hate DB sometimes. All right, well... This is perhaps the worst approach to the rock deck I've ever seen, but it's also completely glorious and based, and I approve of it, so congratulations. Uh, finally, we have a match from... Oh, this is from my members-only stream yesterday. I played, like, six different matches, and uh, this is one of the ones that I played with the Kuraz deck, uh, with the updated list, which will be at the end of the video with the, uh, the rest of the deck lists, of course. So we're going up against Gemini. Gemini is an interesting one. Um, it's like... It can definitely be scary, depending on how they draw. So here, they... Th I think they go for Giga Plant, and then we just end up using Fiendish on the Giga Plant. Uh, situation ends up a little awkward here, where we, like, Snowman their guy, but then I remember, oh shit, like... <laughs> it just comes back. But we can Tribute Summon Gazeltron hit over, so... If they'd had Bottomless, this might have been a little bit annoying, but they don't. Uh, I think I searched the wrong thing. We probably should have searched something to set under Garden instead of searching a second Debris Dragon. I think it was my bad there. Uh, so they're just going to set Reinforced Truth Pass. Take 3,000. We set one of our Legacy of Yadas. Now they're going to bring out a Gemini Soldier here. Okay. And what do they do? Uh, wait, they summon a... I think they just summon Blazewing. I'm pretty sure if they Gemini summon, we do get a, a Garden token, which is cool. Uh, so presumably this means that my guy's gonna get sparked, so I just go battle phase to force it out, and then... Actually, why didn't we just hit over that guy? There was no reason not to hit over that guy. What was I What was I thinking? I just, like, let him tribute summon Giga Plant for no reason. Uh, so anyway, this turn... This turn we should have, like, won the game. But we... The only reason we didn't is because he specifically had the three back row, Solemn Judgment, Starlight Road, and Mirror Force. If it was anything besides those specific three, I'm pretty sure we'd have just been, like completely owning but because it was those specific three like maybe i should have switched some of my tokens i guess but like it had to be those three exactly um so we just pass a very unlucko moment for us fortunately we still have garden and tragodia so we can like live despite the colossal like disaster that that turn was um let's see i think i dropped track now and then they get a new token so their board's at least clogged, which means they're not going to do any crazy Giga Plant synchro plays. And now we can just go for lethal here. Uh, we do have to be careful. I think if we went like AFD and tried to pop this, then they could start us negate, obviously, so that would be really bad. Um, so instead, the plan is to just go for Black Rose and hit for 16 over the uh, the 800 Rose token. So yeah, that does kind of work out for us there, but uh, very close. We needed to draw a field spell there to out our uh, own black garden and we kind of got lucky uh, but then again we got super unlucky that they had exactly starlight road solemn judgment mirror force so you know it is what it is here i maybe should have compulsed their valkyria right after they normal summoned it because i think i end up compulsing it anyway i did not think this turn through at all i'm like wait we need to keep one of these so i should have definitely just like done it and we would have had one more token or something uh at this point i think that this is uh that this face down was road because i thought they, they played into mirror force and like torrential on that turn but it was actually just a it's actually just a call to haunted so i'm like all right well in that case it's still fine we do our play get our gazeltron 
they go ahead summon evocator and then out our gadgetron and i tried to think forever if we had a line to lethal here and i don't think we did i do maybe we maybe if we like assumed the back row was nothing but i don't think you can really afford to do that um so we just go for more karaz plays get another gadgetron i decide to just out their both of their monsters i think it's probably better to just hit over both rather than try to save the call for some fancy caress play so at this point we force out the gem spark attack and then i think for a while about whether i should set snowman and i remember i said like well if he has storm it would be better to set snowman and then he he does have storm so a little bit rough there Valkyria hits in. Uh, now, we don't have game, unfortunately. We just have to summon Mole. But we can set both since Storm is gone. And they don't really have a way to play into this field anymore. So we are going to take that one 2-0 versus Gemini. Kura's deck. Maybe maybe I underrate this deck a little bit. It's, like, not bad or anything. I just think the matchups against, like, Vayu and Zombies specifically are really annoying. And not good. And that's just, like, a problem for me. Uh, personally, I, I really like more versatile types of decks which yeah i don't know i haven't found a great way to solve that i guess you could pre even more i have like shadow imps in the side so maybe and this is like a later version of the build that doesn't play lone fire titanium it's a bit different than some of the older builds but yeah i've just like i just kind of lost passion for the Kuraz deck lately i got really burnt out on it, playing it like the entirety of 2022 so maybe i'll come back to it someday um i played it for fun on stream for members yesterday so yeah that was that match, and I think that's the final replay that we have for today's episode. Uh, so, as always, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you next time. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.